I mean, I'm finding it really hard to inhabit the character. I don't even know what my motivation's supposed to be. I'm not getting any help from her. Call herself a director. She's an idiot. You know, when I was working with Ridley okay, Scott... Okay, folks, sorry to keep you waiting. We are now ready for a take. About bloody time. Watch the magic. Take 22. <laughs> Action! <laughs> Use once, twice, three times a lady. Please, will you welcome Omi Janini? Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. I consider myself half English half Iranian and this is a bit of a problem I have because my Iranian half actually believes I don't like I don't want to see pop stars with girls cavorting on stage unnecessarily showing their midriffs and showing being sexy for no reason but my English side has got 12 tickets to girls allowed and I just can't wait <laughs> can't wait my Iranian side wants to hide my wife's face with a veil and my English side is also coming round to that way of thinking as well <laughs> uh, <laughs> and my Iranian side wants to go at home and sit in my bedroom and suck on a hookah. <laughs> and my English side can appreciate the innuendo. <laughs> I would like to point out that you are not allowed to smoke indoors. <laughs> also, you know, my, my, my English side really loves the royal family. And my Iranian side hates me for this. It does, and my Iranian always chips in if I ever meet royalty. I met Prince Charles recently. I said, uh, Your Royal Highness, it's a real absolute honor to perform for you. You dirty, filthy, Western imperialist bastard! <laughs> and may I say, uh, your charming wife is looking wonderful today. Cover your face, you Jezebel! <laughs> it's a terrible thing. But I love the royals. They've got a great sense of humour, actually. I met Prince Charles and I said, you must be very proud of Prince Harry going out to Iraq. He goes, yes, it's marvellous to see Harry wearing a British uniform for a change. <laughs> <laughs> but I was I did a terrible thing. Um, if you ever meet the royals, you're never supposed to touch them. Apparently, I was inappropriately tactile, OK? And I thought I was being really cool, you know, but they showed pictures afterwards of me grabbing his elbow gun and going... <laughs> They knew my act as well, because I, I performed for them and I, I had Prince Charles and Camilla. I had a private meeting with them. He goes, oh, you didn't do that thing with the mouth, the boobla's of for art. No, it not of for art. I like that. And I said, Your Highness, I think you'll find it's googlets of for art. No, it not of art. And he went, fum, bum, bubblets of for art. No, not of for art. And I went, googlets, googlets, for art, booyayat. And then he had the audacity to come back with, boogarts of for art, art of for art. <laughs> And I said, I've never been so insulted in all my life! <laughs> Welcome, esteemed viewers, to the channel broadcasting from the heart of the Middle East to the whole world. You're watching Look Eastwards. <laughs> Tonight, we have a varied mixed bag of nuts for your entertainment pleasure. Kicking us off at 6 o'clock with the ever-popular Saudi Arabia's got talent. Please don't make me marry him. I love you. You're making a big mistake. <laughs> At eight o'clock, we have white swap. Look, I give you one camel. Yalla. <laughs> Followed at nine o'clock by Flog It. <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah. <It's> harsh. <laughs> but before that, our most popular TV game show. <laughs> okay. The banker is offering you 25 million dinar for that box. You insult me. I will open my box. Are you sure? 
I'll see you tonight. champions at the end of the tournament on uranium or no uranium. It's just the one radiator. It hardly gets hot at all. It's cold, yes. It's by the bed. Please excuse me, I should have said. He is not well. This is my husband, Simon. He was knocked down by a drunken driver four months ago. These bastards. Yeah. Lock them up and throw away door, yes? Mm. The doctor say he may spend the rest of his life in a coma. You cry. I'm sorry. Oh. You're a strong woman. Brave woman. Like Batman. You're very kind. Simon, this is Andre. He's going to fix your radiator so that you won't be cold at nights. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Six sugar, please. Six? <laughs> oh, well, uh, isn't two, three, three, uh, eight. Eight. <laughs> Fine. Thanks very much. Too much money, not enough sense. Man united for him. Delivery and back pocket. Linda? Simon! I fix your radiator. But... Darling, where have I been? <laughs> I also fix your husband. At no extra charge. Oh. In Poland, I'm leading neuropathologist. But pay as plumber. Much better here. <laughs> oh, no. I'm wasted in this country. <laughs> believe you talked me into doing this. A blind date, at my age, is humiliating. My third wife died last week, and you dragged my ass to some drafty house waiting for some mystery bitch. <laughs> you know what? I don't need this. I'm out of here. No, sire, give it a go. No, 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 can I, Cromwell? Let me ask you a question. Do I look like a goddamn college kid to you? It's not just about you, sire. It's about all men folk. What you talking about, crazy fool? I'm serious, <laughs> sire. We look up to you. Me, Thomas More, Bishop Bonner. You're our hero, man. You're not just King Henry VIII. You're King Henry VIII. <laughs> Tell me something about this woman. She better not be some kind of sorry-ass cast-off. No, sire. She's top quality. European, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh. Let me look at that portrait again. Hmm. Yeah, she might fine. She fine. The paintbrush never lies. <laughs> <clears throat> What's her name again? Anne of Cleves. Cleves? Where the hell is Cleves? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> My lord. Will you excuse me one moment, please? <laughs> Two things. One, no more blind dates. Two, you go in the tower. Some ham, my lord. Oh, you definitely go in the tower. Put that ham away, woman. You're embarrassing yourself. 